Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm wearing my open face helmet today. Look at that flag. I know you can see that flag. That's a 20 foot by 30 foot flag. I have endured so much wind and rain and snow and wind and wind and wind. Oh yeah, and did I mention the wind? I have endured so much of that shit over the past two months that I am ready to freaking scream. I am so tired of the flipping wind. I can handle the rain, I can handle a little snow, but the freaking wind, I'm telling you, the wind is pissing me off. It's just every day, it's relentless. If there's one thing that the weather does that pisses me off more than anything, it's the freaking wind. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, dude, it's just wind. At least it's not raining, you can work. And you're right, I can work. But you have to remember that my attitude comes from 30 years of climbing trees. For 30 years climbing trees for a living, there was nothing more dangerous than being in a tree, like say that that tree right there, being up in the top of that tree and the and the freaking wind starts blowing 40 or 50 miles an hour and you're in the middle of cutting a branch. Excessively dangerous. I did that shit for 30 years and the wind always pissed me off. So 30 years of being pissed off at the wind doesn't just go away overnight. Ooh, that's a nice little truck. Very cool. Wouldn't mind having that. Anyway, we have dealt with wind and rain and snow and wind and rain and snow for two months now. The entire month of February and the entire month of March. I just want a break from the wind and the rain and the snow. I just want the freaking sun to shine. Sure, we had a few nice days. I think out of the last two months, we've had about one week of nice days. One freaking week, that was it. That's all we've had, one week of nice days. And the rest of it's been pure garbage. And I have to talk louder now because the wind is blowing so damn hard it's probably going to screw up the microphone and screw up the video and everything else. Because I'm going east, the wind's coming out of the south like it normally does now, so it's a, it's a crosswind. And that usually messes with a microphone on this open face helmet because there's nothing blocking the wind at all. It's a solid crosswind of about 40 miles an hour. And I'm riding the KLR today and I should have brought the gold wing. But that's all right, I can manage. I don't have that far to go. I went to do a chip repair earlier today and it's almost three o'clock now so when i went out there at 10 o'clock this morning i realized it's a crack not a chip and i have to do a crack repair and i didn't have my crack repair tools with me because i can't carry everything all the time i was for a while and realized that i get very few crack repairs so I don't carry all my crack repair tools with me every single day because I get very few crack repairs. I mostly just do windshield chips. And then I show up to a job that has a crack, not a chip, and I tell them the price and what I can do, and then they say yay or nay, and I tell them I have to reschedule with you because I didn't bring my tools for this. You told me it was a chip. 
<laughs> and they go, oh, okay, well lucky today I got a little bit of a break in between and actually I just got done early with all of my appointments. So I was able to go ahead and come down. I was able to go ahead and go to the house. Good Lord. Let that van get past me and blasting me with wind. I was able to go to the house and get my tools. And now I'm going to go back and see if she wants me to go ahead and do the repair today because it's supposed to fucking rain tomorrow. Yay! This is a Wednesday. I'm not sure what day you're seeing this video, but this is a Wednesday. And it's supposed to rain Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again. I'm so fed up with the damn rain. It amazes me that I was able to get through October, November, December, January with very little snow, very little worry about windows being wet, and come February and March it just rain and snow and rain and snow and rain and snow and wind. The wind just really pisses me off. But more than that is all the damn rain. The rain gets on my freaking nerves. I cannot repair a wet windshield. Now I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, how are you posting all these videos if it's raining all the time? Well, on a nice bright sunny day, or if we have two nice bright sunny days, then I'll make a couple of videos and get them ready to come out because that way I always have a video coming out even if I'm sitting in the house for a freaking week because of the damn rain. It's 40 degrees right now. The last time I made a video, it was 70 degrees or 60 degrees. It was freaking warm and beautiful. It's 40 degrees right now. My face is chilled. Not terrible, but it's chilled. I should have worn my full, full face helmet for two reasons. Number one, so my face wouldn't be cold, and number two, so the microphone would get some protection from the wind, but I didn't. I wore this helmet, and I'm just hoping that it comes out clear, because I know you're going to get some wind noise, but that's expected with an open face helmet. I just hope my voice comes through clear enough. But I don't have to scrap this video and I can go ahead and post it because I'm not going to have another day to make a video for quite a while with all this damn rain. I'm bringing my camera with me to hopefully make a video of the crack repair because I think that would be good on my business channel. I'm bringing my other camera. So I use my Drift Ghost XLs for the bikes. And I use my DJI's for the business. And I sold my GoPros because I can't stand them damn things. I honestly can't. I just can't stand them. I have tried so many times to make videos with GoPros and the video will come out fine. There just won't be any audio. Or the, the video will freeze and the audio will continue for another 10 minutes but the video will just freeze and it's not the editing program it happens constantly with the GoPros the video just freezes but the audio continues and doesn't matter which editing program I put it in it, it's the same so I know it's not the editing program it's the GoPros or I'll be making a video and the damn thing will just shut off. It'll just beep, 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 and shut off. And I'll turn it back on. It's still got half the battery. It's still got plenty of memory card. But the damn thing just decided it's time to shut off. I never 
ever, not once, in 10 years of using Drift Innovation cameras, these ghost cameras, not once in 10 years have I ever had a camera overheat, shut off randomly, lose the audio or the video freeze. Not one single time in 10 years. Yes, I've had some videos that sounded like shit because of the wind, but that was because I didn't have the right microphone set up. That was my fault. That wasn't the camera's fault, that was my fault for not having the settings on the camera correct and for not having the right microphone set up. <coughs> and I've already tested this one at 65, but I turned the microphone sensitivity up just a little bit, one notch, because honestly, I hate having to re-edit a video twice or three times to get get it volumed up enough for you to be able to hear it. I would much rather, whoops, neutral grab, I would much rather deal with a little more wind noise and only having to edit the video one time. So I can volume it up in editing one time, edit the video, render it, and post it. And I don't have to deal with all that bullshit of having to edit the video two or three times. I don't like having to do that. So I'm a little aggravated today because of all the damn wind and rain and going out on two jobs that I couldn't do. And, you know, that's a, that's a huge waste of time for me. You know, I ride the bike a half an hour to get to a job and then find out somebody's already repaired it. They can still see the chip clearly, but somebody's already attempted a repair. And once that happens, it's very rare that I can drill it out and, and do it again. And on this one, there was no way. The one that I, you know, the last one that I went on, there was just no way. I couldn't drill it out and redo it. They, they, they did fill it, they just didn't fill it as good as I do. So you can still clearly see the chip. When I'm done, you can barely, you have to look for that son of a bitch. When I'm finished with a repair, you actually have to look for it. You can't just walk up and see it. You have to look for it. You have to have a general idea of where it was and then look for it to be able to see it. Because I do it right. I do my shit right. I don't screw around. I don't I don't quickly put a tool on the windshield and put one fucking drop of resin in there and go, okay, that's it, that's repaired. No. I use as much resin as it takes. However much it takes to do the repair, that's how much resin I use. And I'm just not the kind of person that's going to rip people off. I, I can't do that. I, in good conscience, I cannot just rip people off and expect them to be okay with that. I just can't do it. I've never been able to do that. I can't do it and I won't do it. So I did text her and tell her I could be back in about an hour or sooner to do this crack repair for her. I hope she got my text, and if she didn't, well then, I don't know what to say, but I hope she got my text, so I don't know if you can see that crack right there. i got to repair that. So I will see you in my next video.